Good morning, Ithaca Titans. This is Riley Valentine, Layden Lana, and Daniela Botful. Welcome to the morning news. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. At this time, please stand for a moment of silent reflection. Please remain standing for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for it is for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. The mission of Ithaca Elementary School is to inspire each student by providing a foundation for continual success. Our vision at IES students are passionate about learning, which inspires their success. Today the weather is sunny with a high of 76 and a low 47. Happy birthday to Cooper Thomas and Riley Hill. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Titans. Titans! Your Super 16 reminder is never cut in line. At Ithaca, we are responsible enough to follow the rules and being responsible means showing others how to behave. So make sure you are being a good role model for others by never cutting in line. Tomorrow's theme for Read Across America is Dress as Your Future Self. We have a winner of the bookworms, aka gummy worms. Ace and Reese guess 140 worms exact. Come on down to claim your worms and a new book, Ace and Reese. Yeah. Readathon update. Miss Kreider's class is in the lead, and Taylor Wyndham is in the lead for top reader with, mo with the most donations. Way to go, Taylor! Don't forget to sign up for Readathon if you don't if you haven't already. This is a great way for us to raise money for new books in the library. Good morning, Titans. My name is Miss Connie and I am a para with the Adapted Curriculum team. This month is Women's History Month and I'm going to talk to you about Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Elizabeth Cady Stanton was an advocate for the women's rights and suffrage movements. As a young adult, she learned that only men could vote and that women had very few rights under the law. She knew this was not fair and fought to give women the same opportunities as men. In 1869, she and her friend, Susan B. Anthony, formed the National Woman Suffrage Association. The 19th Amendment was ratified in 1920, which gave women the right to vote. Thank you so much for letting me talk to you about Women's History Month and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Remember, we use our heads to show we're responsible, our hearts to show we're respectful, and our hands for positive actions. This has, has been your Titan News Crew. Have a thankful Thursday. It's go time and we are it.